Chapter 1 It was a sunny morning in Sunny Valley, which is how most mornings in Sunny Valley are. Ola was sleeping peacefully, but now it was time for him to wake up. At first, Ola didn't want to get up, but then he remembered that today was the day he was going to help his friend Rose in her garden. Ola liked Rose a lot, and working in the garden was fun. He couldn't wait to get there. On the way to Rose's house, Ola ran into his friend Lottie, who was having some trouble. It's these fling fling and balloons, Ola. Lottie was delivering a load of balloons to the big Sunny Valley Fair, but they kept floating away out of her truck. If I just had something to hold the balloons and keep them in the truck while I'm driving, I'd be all right. Ola wondered if he might have something that could help her. Lottie ran the Rapid Rabbit Delivery Company. So she took all sorts of things all over Sunny Valley. Mostly I deliver things that don't float away. Olo kept the key to the backyard shed sitting on his table. He took the key with him. Olo tried the door to his shed, but it was locked. Olo unlocked the shed with his key. The shed was where Olo kept everything that was too big or too dirty to go in the house. There were a lot of things in the shed. Olo found his old net hanging from a hook in the corner of his shed. He took it with him just in case. Olo gave his net to Lottie to hold the balloons in the back of the truck. Thanks a lot, Olo. That's perfect. Now I can take these babies to the fair. Lottie was not the best driver in Sunny Valley. But she was the fastest. Now that he'd helped his friend Lottie with her balloon problem, Olo was finally ready to go work with Rose in her garden. Play. Chapter 2. Ola was going to help Rose in her garden. Olo, I'm so glad you're here. Rose was very glad to see Olo. She couldn't wait to tell him about her special project for the Sunny Valley Fair. We're going to grow the biggest tomato this valley has ever seen. It's sure to win first prize. Rose tended to get very excited when she was talking about tomatoes or contests. Now, Rose couldn't leave her garden. I've got to keep an eye on my baby carrots. So she needed Olo to bring her some things. Here, take a look at this list. Olo needed to find Rose a rake, a tomato seed, and a watering can so she could grow her tomato. Now hurry and find me those things so we can get going on this tomato. Rose had an issue of Seed Fancier magazine in her mailbox. Inside was an article about a new type of tomato called Red Thunder. Olo decided he should take the magazine with him. Olo said hello to his friend Penny, an interior decorator who lived in the woods. Hi, Olo. It's nice to see you. Penny was always rearranging her nest, even though she didn't have any furniture. I've got to get the angles between the sticks just right. Olo thought he might visit his friend Wally, but the gate was closed and no one was home. Which one is the smallest? <coughs> Correct.
path towards the swamp was blocked. The drawbridge was up to let some swans pass by. Olo thought they were very pretty. Olo found Rose's favorite watering can out near Lemonade Creek. Rose was always leaving things around and forgetting where she put them. <laughs> Count to 33. Three. Six. Nine. Twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Thirty. Thirty-three. Correct. <laughs> Farmer Franklin was Sunny Valley's biggest seed importer. He had all kinds of seeds. Trees, bushes, vegetables, flowers, you name it. So Olo asked him for a tomato seed. Sure thing, Olo. What kind of tomato seed do you need? Farmer Franklin explained that there were many kinds of tomatoes, and each one came from a different kind of seed. So he needed to know what type of tomato Rose and Olo were trying to grow. Maybe you could bring me a picture or something? Olo gave the seed magazine to Farmer Franklin and told him that he and Rose wanted to grow a tomato like the one in the article. Red Thunder? You sure about this, Olo? Those are awful big. Olo said that awful big was exactly what they wanted. So Farmer Franklin gave him a seed. Let's see, where's that seed? Ah, here it is, Red Thunder. The seed was almost as big as a normal tomato. You be careful now, Olo. These tomatoes are still experimental. Some kids were playing baseball on the field. Olo decided he'd better not interrupt their game. Olo found Rose's rake over at the fairgrounds. He decided someone must have borrowed it while they were setting up the fair. Olo gave Rose the watering can. Thanks, Olo. We'll need that to grow our super colossal tomato for the fair. Olo has found everything Rose needs to grow the tomato. Olo gave Rose the tomato seed he'd gotten from Farmer Franklin. Oh boy, thanks. We're almost ready to grow that tomato now. Olo has found everything Rose needs to grow the tomato. Olo gave Rose the rake. That's everything we need. Okay, Olo, let's grow ourselves a tomato. There! Now comes the hard part. We wait for it to grow. They didn't have to wait long. Red Thunder tomatoes are not only large, they also grow very fast. This is a little bit too big. Look out! The giant tomato began rolling through Sunny Valley, causing all sorts of problems. Rose was somewhat concerned about the situation. Oh no! It 
It's a disaster. An absolute disaster. And it's all my fault. Oh, no. Olu told her not to worry and said he would go find out if anyone needed help. Okay, that's good. Yes, very good. I better stay here in case the tomato comes back. Chapter 3 As it turned out, there was someone who needed Olo's help. That someone was a clown named Blimpo. Oh, be oh my. Blimpo was upset. Olo asked what was the matter. I was just outside minding my own business, practicing some of my clown tricks. When all of a sudden, this big tomato came along. The tomato had knocked off Blimpo's hilarious orange-colored clown wig, and now he couldn't find it. People will see my head. Oh, this is awful. Olo said he would help look for the wig. This seemed to make Blimpo a bit happier, but not much. You're not looking at my head, are you? The midway at the fair was still being set up. Olo found a stick by the pond. They took it with them. You can never have too many sticks. The path into the swamp was flooded, like it usually was early in the day. Olo's friend Penny was not happy. Oh, Olo, it's awful. This big tomato came bouncing by and smashed my beautiful nest. And now I'm stuck living in this, this... It was Blimpo's orange-colored wig. Penny did not like it. Did I mention that she was an interior decorator? It's just so tacky. Penny said that she'd much rather rebuild her nest of sticks than live in the wig. But I definitely need all the original sticks back, and I have no idea where they landed. Oh, dear. Olo wanted to give a stick to Penny, but she was way up in the tree. Olo was a good jumper, but not that good. Which one is the smallest? Good job! Olo asked his friend Wally if he'd seen a fairly large tomato around anywhere. Lady. Oh, not much call for those in cakes. Not these days, anyhow. Wally was baking something for the cake contest at the fair. He was known all over the valley for his delicious cakes. Loud. Front. Back. Three. 
Olo found a stick out behind his house. He picked it up. Olo liked a tiny backyard. Red! Olo found a stick near the drawbridge. They took it with them. You never know when a good stick might come in handy. Olo's friend Muriel Moose was working on a big sculpture near the Sunny Valley Quarry. I've never done one quite this big before. Olo asked Muriel if he could borrow her ladder. Sure, Olo. The top is pretty much done, so I won't be needing the ladder for a while. My tools are everywhere. I'll move them in a few minutes so you can get by. Muriel was busy working on her sculpture, so Olo knew a minute could mean a really long time. Olo set up Muriel's ladder so he could climb up into the tree. Olo gave Penny three sticks. It's the sticks from my nest. This is terrific. Now I can move back in. Goodbye, ugly wig. Thanks a lot, Olo. It's great to have my nest back. I wonder if I should get some furniture someday. Olo took Blimpo's wig with him. He didn't think it was ugly at all. In fact, he rather liked it. Olo returned Blimpo's hilarious orange-colored wig. This is wonderful! Blimpo was very happy. I can't thank you enough. I feel funnier already! Whoops, that's not right! Tell you what, pull my... Say, do you hear something? Oh, no! Not again! Unfortunately, it looks like the trouble with the giant tomato isn't quite over. Chapter 4 As he passed by the house where Wally lived, he heard a terrible racket. Concerned for sniggity Jim Crack piece of junk? It was Wally. Useless wobbly tin plate and bacon jalopy. Wally explained to Olo that he had been baking a special cake for the decorating contest at the fair. 
But then there was some sort of hoodoo earthquake or something, and my beautiful prize-winning cake fell on over and got itself ruined. Olo started to explain that it had been a tomato, not an earthquake, but Wally wasn't finished. And if that weren't enough, this old two-bit stove has fallen apart on me too. Now I gotta fix my stove and start my cake from the beginning again. Olo offered to help. He liked making cakes almost as much as he liked eating them. Well, now, that's right neighborly of you, Olo. I tell you what, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Wally explained that the reason his cakes were always so much more delicious than anyone else's was that he always used exactly the right amount of sugar. One cup. You got to use exactly one cup of sugar. Knock me down and call me Mother Hubbard. I'm clean out of sugar. He gave Olo a measuring cup and asked him to go and get some sugar. One cup. If you see a good tool for fixing the stove, you might bring that along as well. There were a lot of rocks laying around out by the rock pit, blocking the path. I've gotten quite a bit done for one day's work. Maybe I'll give myself a raise. The cotton candy machine at the fair had a whole lot of sugar in it for making cotton candy. One cup. The measuring cup has one cup of sugar in it. Olo found an old screwdriver out in the swamp. He decided to take it with him in case someone had a screw loose, which was a common problem in Sunny Valley. There was a blacksmith shop next to the swamp, but it was closed while the owner ate lunch. Olo gave Wally the sugar he'd gotten from the cotton candy machine. Hmm. Ah, that there is a prize winning cake batter if I ever tasted one. Now if only the stove was working, we could bake us a cake.
Olo showed Wally the screwdriver he'd found. Say, that might come in right handy around here. Um, do you know how to use one of them things? Olo used his screwdriver to fix the stove. Well, I'll be, Olo. You're a regular handyman. Thanks for fixing my stove. What do you say we bake us a cake? Olo liked the way the cake looked and thought maybe it was ready for the contest at the fair. Do you think it's ready now? No. Yes, sir, Olo, this is a real nice cake. I think we're sure to win first prize at the fair. Just then, the giant tomato rolled by again. Olo chased after it. Olo's in a little bit of trouble. Chapter 5 Fortunately for Olo, the giant tomato missed him completely and got stuck in some rocks. He wondered what Rose would want to do about her tomato now. The tomato was wedged into the rocks on top of an old log. Olo wondered what Rose would want him to do about it. Olo's friend Lottie was out by the quarry, which was strange since it was not any of her usual delivery routes. Yeah, I took a wrong turn on the way to the fair and I got a little lost. Could have happened to anybody. To make matters worse, while she was driving on the rough ground, she had a problem. Olo told Rose what had happened to her tomato. Stuck in some rocks? Oh no. It's not damaged, is it? Please tell me it's okay. Olo assured her that the tomato was okay. Thank goodness. That means we can still enter it in the fair. Olo, you've got to find a way to get that tomato out from those rocks.
There was a nut down deep in the pond where Olo couldn't reach it. He thought it must be the nut from Lottie's truck. Bronny was the Sunny Valley blacksmith, which meant that he made and fixed things that were metal. Olo asked him what he was working on. Nothing. Just testing out a new hammer. Bronny uses the stove to heat his metal pieces. The stove was very hot. Which one of these does not belong? Good job! Olo said he had no idea it took so long to test a hammer. Hammer's fine. I just like doing this. There was a nut, there was a nut down deep in the pond where Olo couldn't reach it. Olo borrowed a magnetic fishing pole from one of the games at the fair. He would bring it back later. Olo didn't know much about fishing, but it only took him one try to get the nut out of the pond. Olo used the nut he'd found to fix Lottie's wheel. Hot dog, Olo, you fixed my truck. Well, I'd love to stick around, but I've got to get to the fair. Lottie had forgotten her jack when she drove off. Olo took it with him in case he ran into her. Olo decided to use Lottie's jack to move the enormous boulder. The tomato was launched into the air, narrowly missing a weather helicopter and a flock of geese. It looked like it was headed straight for the fair. Chapter 6. Olo decided he'd better go see where it landed. Quickly, he tracked it to the roller coaster at the fair, which was being tested by the chief roller coaster operator, Sophie Woldrick. It was working just fine until this big tomato fell on it. Sophie was stuck. She explained that Olo could use the roller coaster control levers to get both her and the tomato down, but unfortunately, the roller coaster was broken. 
The primary flux transmission gear flew off and cracked in half. One piece of the gear was lying on the ground nearby. Olo picked it up. I'm not sure where the other half went. You'll have to find it and stick them back together. Then you can fix the coaster. Olo said he would help. Well, this contestant has a lovely color, but it's simply not large enough to be a real prize winner. Oh no, there you are. Thank goodness. Where's the tomato? Olo explained about the roller coaster. Oh no, this is a disaster. You've got to get it down. They've already started the judging. Olo said he'd get it down as quick as he could. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Olo saw that the other half of the roller coaster gear was in the tank of water. I might be persuaded to fish it out for you, but you'll have to dunk me. I never go into the water unless someone dunks me. I say, whatever you do, you mustn't push the target yourself. One must hit it with a baseball. That's how the game works. Could I get a baseball? My finger. Wait a minute, that's not right. It's nice to see you. It's great to have my nest back. I wonder if I should get some furniture someday. Some kids who'd been playing baseball in the field had left their ball behind. Olo took it with him.
A most excellent shot, sir. Well done. Olo picked up the other half of the roller coaster gear. I must say, I can't imagine what you'd want with that old thing. Olo gave Bronny the two halves of the roller coaster gear and asked if he could fix it. Sure, piece of cake. Here you go, son. Good as new. Olo thanked Bronny for helping him. No charge. Olo put the primary flux transmission gear back where it belonged. Hey, nice going. Now all you have to do is set those control levers in the right positions and I can get down from here. Middle. Down. Middle. Middle. Down. Olo decided he'd come back and adjust the control levers later on. Down, down, middle, middle, up. Say, that was fun. I hope you didn't want that tomato for anything. And what have we here? Invisible tomato? Microscopic tomato? Imaginary tomato? Um... Or did you just get hungry and eat it? Well, the thing is, my tomato is sort of, um... Olo was about to break the news to Rose that her tomato had been catapulted all the way to France when something extraordinary happened. It's... It's right here is what it is. Oh, no, you did it! My stars! That's a whopper! I'm going to give it first prize. Oh, this is so wonderful! I don't know what to say. Just then, Wally arrived. His cake had won first prize in the decorating contest, and he was eager to show it off to everyone. Greetings, all. Take a gander at salivating crawdaddies. That's one big tomato. Thank you. Olo helped me grow it. Did he? He helped me make my cake, too. By cracky, that Olo is a fine fella. He's the best. I'm inclined to agree. Thank <laughs> you.